All right, guys and girls, just to let you know before I start, I'm starting from completely zilch. So I've got no armor, no abilities to grab certain artifacts. So I'm playing as a newbie, so to speak. So I'm only grabbing the collectibles, what I can grab on the way on my journey through Darksiders. So after I get a certain equipment, I'll most likely go back to the artifact that I missed. Hence, I couldn't grab it because I haven't got that certain requirement to get the... Um, artifact so you'll find out more details in the video once it's playing so here we go as we here from need to achieve at ntagameguys.com this is now darksiders 1 this was a requested guide but i'm sorry i could not remember what your name was um i deleted the email by accident and i couldn't remember what your name was so you know who you are who requested it so here you go so the first thing we're going to get is on the very, 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 very first level. It's called open air parking. As soon as you get the cutscene with the the road breaking up and the spikes come behind you, pick up a car quickly and look up. Okay, just to give you a heads up, the way I'm going to do this artifacts is on some artifacts you cannot get because you haven't got certain equipment. So you'll most likely see the artifacts, but you cannot get them yet. So you'll see me go straight past them, and you'll probably think, why the hell have I gone past it? It's a collectible right there. That's the reason why. So once you um, find Volgrim, and you'll get an achievement for it. So if you're looking at Volgrim, take a left, and go past the building on the left side. And you'll notice an archway on the left. So just a very, 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 very small one. Take a left, down the stairs, and you'll notice some water very soon. Okay, now head into the water and you'll notice your first artifact, and this will be your soldier one. So here we go, we'll pick up the soldier. So this, requ I'm also doing a requirement thing on the bottom left as well. Underneath the artifact, I'm telling you what requirement you need. So requirement, you don't need nothing for this one. So the lifestone, this is in the library area. Jump into the water as soon as you get into the library area. Go into the water and go through the hole, the only hole possible in the water area. And go all the way through here. Once you get to the end, you have to surface and you'll see the life shard one or life stone shard. That's number one. Okay. Now we're going to head to a place called Sc Scaling, Scaling Gallows, I think it's called. So as soon as you enter this place, go straight and take a left. Well, you have the right choice, going left, right or forward, go left. And once you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll start noticing these like uh, blue little medallion things hanging about. That means Volgrim's nearby. So find the Volgrim location. Pick up the chest on the way. So now, if you're looking straight at Volgrim, turn around and you'll notice a wall you can climb. So uh, turn around and climb this wall here and go grab the Wraith Shard, number one. Right, after you've got the Wraith Shard, just continue on with the story and eventually you will get the Shadow Flight ability. And also, as soon as you get it, you will get the achievement called Chasm Jumper. Chasm Jumper! Right, as soon as you um, get that, head down this hill here and go directly straight. We're now going to head back into the library area where we couldn't get one of the collectibles. So we're going to head back into Crossroads. So we're now back into Crossroads right now. So head back into the library. and go to the bridge what's broken here we go just head back into the hole here and climb up jump to the top so yeah I'm not sure if every time I get something new I'm gonna head back I'm not too sure at the moment well, I might save it until the very end then I go back for them all and get them all again but, I don't know, see how it goes. So yeah, jump across the broken bridge. So double jump, then hold the A button to activate the Shadow's Flight. And you can get the artifact. That's number two. 
So now, head into the choking grounds. So this is lifestone shard number two. The requirement is you got to smash all the tombstones, but you don't have to uh, destroy the tombstones as I've been reading on the forums. It's only the main tombs that have got a big cross, like these ones here. You've got to destroy all the big ones with the cross. I'm going to speed it up very soon, but I'm going to show you one more time during a cutscene, you'll notice what I mean. Of just destroy the big tomb with a cross on it. That one right in front of you there. You cannot miss them. So now I'm going to speed the video up now so it goes quicker. And so here we go. So eventually, um, after I decided to go back into the grave site, so yeah, the big tombs will only be in this area. They will not be outside the grave area or outside the um, cemetery. So as soon as you destroy your last one, then you will notice a cutscene will happen and you'll see the lifestone shard number two pop out from nowhere. So all you need to do now is head to the crate just off to the right hand side and there it is we got two now yay now from this last location looking at the crate off to the left slightly go to the middle tomb and drag it head down the stairs and you'll find the artifact soldier number three this requires no skill abilities to get this one. Okay, for the next one, from the last location, now you want to turn around. After you grab that, head up the stairs and head towards. I keep calling him Virgil, he's not, is he? Volgram. So head to the middle of the gravesite and you'll see Volgram's location. Keep going straight and you'll notice a, another little stairs here going down. And you'll notice also in the distance another artifact that is soldier number four. Okay, now we're going to go for an achievement called High Flyer. So during your choking grounds, so this is when you get to the big massive gate and he tells you that he's not moving until you get everything killed. Well, destroy the curse. So eventually in one of these, um, I'm not sure what they call them, voids or something like that you'll notice this cutscene here and it'll tell you that um, you have some bats and you have some ground creatures so you cannot miss this part because you have to do it as part of the story so the easiest thing to do here is grab onto the bat and press B but do not press B straight after if you do that you'll probably most likely miss the grab because every time um, War grabs the bat he does like a little catapult to, uh, off the bat after he kills him, so it gives you a little bit extra to um, wait and press B at the right time so you're close enough to the bat to get him. So make sure you don't press B too early. If you press A, B, then as soon as you kill him, you press B again, you most likely miss the jump. So just let um, Ward does his little catapult action and press B again. And there we go. Okay, in front of me was the big massive gate. So on your map, still in the graveyard area. So in front of you should be a big massive gate what's blocking your way. So turn left, go in the hole, drop down. The requirement for this one is a shadow flight. So you should have, have that already, so you should be fine. Pick up the Wraith Shard 2. Is Raph in it? Raph? Well, I don't, I don't know now. So, at the start of the broken stair, you'll notice there's a big ramp going up. Halfway up the ramp, you'll notice a wall broken off the right-hand side. Head down here, and you'll see the um, Artifact Soldier 5. This requires no skill whatsoever to get. So, requirement is none. So, from that last location, we're going to get the Lifestone Shard number 3. Once again, the requirement is none, because hence you've already got the the Shadow Flight as well. Actually, sorry, that's the next shard, my bad. Yeah, for this shard, you don't need no requirements whatsoever. So as soon as you go back up the, um, the road there, take a right and you'll see 
um, Volgrim's like little I don't know what you call them by like decorations hanging about you know he's nearby when you see them I'm going to show you where he is just so we can get an idea where to go so keep following the decorations of Volgrim's um, place as soon as you find him I'll tell you where to go here we go as soon as you found him turn around and head directly straight and you'll see some water in front of you keep going straight feel free to grab that um, that magic or the soul on the left hand side go through the water and go to the other side of it you'll notice a lifestone shard number three also just to let you know um, I should have told you at the start of the video but I didn't but I'm gonna change that quickly um, there's a few um, shards that you cannot get until you have a certain amount of money for Volgrim but I'll give you the details at the start of the video so don't worry about it you should know by now okay once you get on the bridge so after you use your shadow flight requirement but this is part of the story so you have to do it so I'm gonna put this requirement as none because it's part of the story and you've already got the shadow flight once you get on the bridge you'll look left and you'll see some cars blocking the um, the light stone or life stone when you call it so this is now the cathedral so this will be your first artifact in this level requirement 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 is none so this is part of the story you have to go through this area anyway so you probably most likely see it during the um, area if you don't if you happen to get the I believe it's the sword piece or the um, the key you've gone too far head back but you probably most likely see it anyway right here comes the lifestone shard at number five requirement is zilch. so pick up the um, explosive chuck it to the wall there you have to fight a couple of bad guys as well and a new creature as well in this area and you'll see the lifestone that is five okay from that last location we're gonna get the artifact champion this is sort of like the the soldier but instead it's called the champion so I'm gonna do a separate list for that one as well so artifact champion number one requirement is zero but you'll need the shadow flight I'm gonna edit that out I can't be bothered to uh, replay the recording so it should say requirement shadow flight for you there we go that's the champion as soon as you drop down from the last location actually no it's not actually my bad so once you get into the area where you have to find the three swords in one of the puzzle rooms you'll notice this cutscene here this is part of the main story so you have to go this way anyway so now go across the bridge and you'll notice the artifact off to the right hand side so jump down and grab the artifact this is soldier number seven moving on to the next one so now after you grab your second sword you'll get a cutscene of a door opening once again the requirement for this one is none you don't need no special ability to get it so now go through the door that recently opened so there's this door right here in front of you in this door you'll see a, um, a raft shard 3 and you'll see a key in the main chest in front of you a beholder's key or something like that and you'll get ambushed before you get to there so kill all the guys and you'll notice another cutscene with this door being vanished and you'll see the main chest that you need to do for the story rise up from there but ignore that chest for now look left and you'll see the Wraith Shard 3 great there we go I'm gonna show you a bit extra just so you know where you are and you can go pick up the, uh, the key So now once you get all the three swords in its place, so part of the main story you have to do it, 
and you'll get this cutscene here. Once you get to the top, you'll notice this door here. Ignore that door. We're now going to get the armor piece set. This is number one. And we can't get the rest just yet. But don't worry, I'll let you know when. So you should have this crate already here to jump up. So jump up here. The requirement for this one is to cross blade. You should already have it. It's story related and cannot be missed. Go through the door and head down. So you'll see the magical chest for the armor piece set one. This is one of ten. So now from this last location, just drop down where you are and you'll see another chest and that will contain your very very first Wraith Core number one. Right now I forgot I was recording, so the Wraith Core is right there. So from the starting point of the um, armor set, drop down and you'll see the um, Wraith Core right here in this crate. That is it for this video.